feature today on EA TV. Two great clubs. It's coming up for you live. Welcome to you all to this always intriguing game, but it might have another element to it today. I'm Martin Tyler. Alan Smith, I'll pose that question to you. What about the snow? Yes, it's, it's coming down quite heavily at the moment. I'm not sure whether that's going to continue, but it can be a problem for the players actually to see the ball. The old orange ball might be out before long. Manchester City have come relatively late to prominence, haven't they? They've had their injection of cash and the richness of resources has led to richness in results. And Arsenal have got their work cut out against the City side. So. Yeah, well, City are the blueprint, aren't they, for what Arsenal want to become. They, they have got money to spend and they've got a good team here and I, I fancy it to be close. Arsenal had that frustration that you feel as the home team when you only draw. They drew against Leicester City. Yeah, positive to take from the 1-1. And uh, I do fancy them for a victory here. A couple of changes for Manchester City. Vincent Kompany starts alongside Nicolas Otamendi at the back. James Rodriguez starts with Kevin De Bruyne in central midfield. We'll see how the striking option works with just one up front. This is the Arsenal lineup. Ben Leno starts in goal. Hector Bellerin plays with Danny Rose as the fullbacks. Nabil Ben Taleb starts with Granit Xhaka in the centre of the park. And today it's just the one striker in the side. Thank you for attending the Etihad Stadium. Enjoy the match. They've been at it right from the first game of the season. I must say they've been very impressive and untouchable so far. Well, they have outclassed all their opponents. And deservedly, there's a, a good deal of daylight between themselves and second place. Can they hold on to it? It's Arsenal to kick off. Here's Bentaleb, Danny Rose, here's Bayerin, really trying to use the full width of the pitch here to make some progress. Now this is an interesting attack. Here's Bentaleb, Mkhitaryan, well, that's when you need a defender to show his class and he's done just that. Ball forward, it's the Manchester City. Nicholas Otamendi. Chaka. This could be a chance. Look the goalkeeper in the eye. It's a corner for Arsenal here. It's good that the game's gone ahead. It's not so much the conditions in the stadium here, and then it's outside, of course, that when the really icy weather comes, the games get cooled off for that. Yeah, it is, isn't it? I mean, because the pitches are so good and with undersaw heating. It's, it's rare that uh, it's unplayable, but uh, if the conditions outside are deemed unsafe, then they have no choice, do they? It's got to be shut off now. Well, no scraps for the attackers to feed on from the goalkeeper that time. Hung on to the ball well. Goal news involving Watford. It's a goal for Wolverhampton Wanderers. 13 minutes played, 1-1. One, one. Well, many thanks, Alan McAnally, keeping us up to date as usual. Henrik Mkhitaryan. Jaka. The break is definitely on. A low ball into the box. And it's out now for a goal kick. 
Well, with an eye on Arsenal, we'll keep an eye on this player without a shadow of a doubt. It's the way he combines with teammates, Martin, that I love so much. Such an unselfish player. He's read that, hasn't he? And made the interception, made it look easy, actually. Kevin De Bruyne. Henrik Mkhitaryan. Patrick. That looked very good indeed, but the move has broken down. Gabriel Jesus. Shokdran Mustafi. Nabil Bentaleb. Aubameyang. Quick-witted and quick in his movement too to intercept there. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. Great ball, Abamia. Saw it coming, cut it out, good work. Arsenal are top of the league. And now they've got to try and see their season through. It's a test for them of temperament as much as talent. I think so. They've not been there for a while. But they've handled it well in recent weeks, and there's never any question of them passing the ball, keeping it, and they've made life difficult here for the opposition. Nabil Bentaleb, news for you from Leicester, from the King Power Stadium, and Alan McInally. It's the second goal for Leicester City. 28 minutes played, 2-0. Thank you very much, Alan. Kevin De Bruyne. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. Gabriel Jesus makes the challenge here. Albania. Patrick. Now Bernardo Silva. Just lent the ball to his mate and got it back again. Could be a chance here. Hit it well! That is extraordinary reflexes from the German Leno. How has he managed to get a hand on that? Oh, well played the referee. He's gone back to the offence that deserved the book. He didn't want to stop the play at the time and he's quite entitled to do what he's doing here. Yeah, I think we all thought he was going to go back, but good to see advantage being played corner played into the middle and that's dealt with easily by Leno well they're in a good position here Sane Nicholas Otamendi. Penalty at Norwich. Alan McAnally. It's a penalty for Tottenham Hotspur. A slight. Excellent vision. De Bruyne. In really for what seemed a certain opening goal. Oh dear, oh dear. I think it's one of those that might play on his mind now for the rest of the match. Hector Berry. Alan McAnally is our man on the spot in that game. A goal for Spurs, Alan, to talk about. It was a penalty, incidentally, and the score's 1-0. Patrick, attacking now. Now, this is an interesting attack. He can't put them in front. What a save! Headed down to a teammate. Well, he's gone, and I wonder whether conditions played a part in that. The referee didn't think so. He didn't. No, I think you've got to make allowances for these conditions out here. It's very slippery on the foot, and I don't think that played a part.
Danny Rose. Aubameyang. And the verdict on added time is two minutes. Comes in strongly. Fernandinho. Rodriguez. Sane. Breaking infield. In a great position to pull it back. Well, Manchester City have got a penalty here. They've got to curb this, Alan, haven't they? they? He's only got a yellow this time, but it's wild out there. I'm just looking down at the manager, and the captain plays a part too. They, they've just got to make sure that they keep their composure and just go a bit more careful now. take him off penalties but he's taken this one and scored yeah he's a man you can depend on in these situations because he does keep a clear and cool head well not what he was looking for and the manager now looking less than pleased somebody's going to play for that uh, goal they've just conceded Manchester City are in the lead. Patrick. So it's 1 0 here as the half time whistle goes. I think that's a good performance, isn't it, Alan, from him in the first half? Yeah, and what a good time to score that was. Uh, put his side in the lead. So far, so good for Manchester City. Second half coming up. That's well worked by City here. And they're going forward with a real hint of menace about them. Put into the middle. Good defensive clearance there. Goal news from Norwich, Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Norwich City, 49 minutes played, 1-1. One, one. Thank you very much, Alan. It's good work between these two. Bernardo Silva. Walker. Fernandinho. There's good progress with this attack. It's Bernardo Silva. Kyle Walker. And here's the shot. He's tried for his second goal of the game. Keepers got the better of him this time. Well, you thought there was only one winner there, but in the end, it was the, the keeper that came forward and did the business. Corner played into the middle. Definitely destined for the goalkeeper. And he makes it his. Sane. 
could be a chance here. They've got the ball into a good area. Well, they've got a corner out of that. A bit lucky, it was deflected. Ben Leno with the very agile piece of goalkeeping. We can look at it again. Well, his reactions were just second. to none well now they're behind they've got to try and switch things around and here comes a substitution in goes the corner well that's good defending Fernandinho Amish Rodriguez on to Fernandinho, De Bruyne, now James Rodriguez, Sane, great goalkeeper, great save. Well, he shouldn't have had a fair there, but he's so agile, this keeper. Well, this is the time where the managers really earn their money. It's going to be an alteration to try and improve the team. And in it goes. It'll be a throw. Danny Rose. Henrik Mikitaria. Arsenal's turn now to get at the opposition. The break is definitely on. Benjamin Mendy. Sane. Gabriel Jesus. Kevin De Bruyne. Alan, what about Arsenal's next game? They're playing Brighton and Hove Albion in their next match. I can't see them facing two. Sterling. Goalkeeper hands on. Alan McAnally wants to join us now. He's got a goal to tell us about. It's a goal for Burnley. In behind the defenders. Played in the clear. Shot grand, Mustafi. Patrick. Coming on strong and looking to play their way through now. Surely the equaliser. Well, he's skimmed the top of the bar here. I think the keeper was probably comfortable, but decent effort. The manager turns away in disgust. He expects his man to top that one away and get his team on level terms. Henrik Mkhitaryan. Patrick. Here come Arsenal. An exciting style. Opportunity here. Splendid goal here. Well, he managed to keep it down, put it into the back of the net, and the keeper just couldn't reach it. Well, if you look back through the archives, you'll see that this player has scored quite a few from these kind of distances, and it is an act. Well, I wonder whether the goalkeeper will blame himself for this, but it looked a good finish, even though he did get a touch. Yeah, he's getting a few stares off his defenders. They thought he should have done better. It is uh, level. Both sides have scored here now. Nicholas Otamendi at the Liberty Stadium. Alan Laurent Koscielny Henrik Mkhitaryan Granani Chaka Shokran Mustafi Chaka 
on to the attack now. To take the lead. Good goal to take the lead here. Well, the side with the extra numbers had actually conceded here. Remarkable. Yeah, maybe a lapse of concentration for them took it a little too easy. Well, let's take another look at the goal. Nothing the manager can do at the moment. His team have lost momentum and they're also losing this match. He's coming off now. He is a defensive midfield player, but you think he could play in all aspects of uh, that particular part of the pitch. He's certainly good on the ball. Yeah, he is. He's one of those. He, he's just a footballer, pure and simple, and he can play in a variety of positions. And this is his, his proper one, his, his favourite one, and we saw why today. Optimism in the crowd here for Manchester City, but not so much the way the team's playing on the pitch in these closing minutes. No, it, that atmosphere doesn't seem to be catching with the players. They can't lift themselves, it seems to me. Here's a chance to attack. And now he's looking for... He's got his shot off now. That's a brilliant goal. It's his third goal. It's a hat-trick today. He's really been on form. Well, no wonder he's wheeling away in a super celebration. To get a hat-trick is a fantastic experience, and he's just done that. Well, having scored two, he was just so full of confidence, and he never looked like missing that chance. Substitution for Manchester City. Well, that's what City. substitutes the four to be used. And we've got one coming on now. Fernandinho coming onto the pitch. Just a reminder, 3-1 it is now the scoreline. So not much time left at all. What does this mean, Alan, for their next game? Well, Manchester City go up against Southampton after this and uh, really don't think they'll be happy at all. The manager, in fact, I think he's furious with them. Kevin De Bruyne attacking well here. Sané. It's an excellent cross. Cut out the pass. Now he's looking for support. Well, he can do this, Kevin De Bruyne. He can really get at the opposition. Well, there's still time if they can get this goal. It's a good goal. They pulled one back now. And they're only one behind now. And there's still plenty of life in this match as they look to level it up. There's new hope. They've cut it back to one. Well, I thought this game was done and dusted, but anything but now. Well, it's a goal worth replaying over and over again, isn't it? Oh, plenty of goals here today, 3-2. Goal for Manchester City, number two, Kyle Shot Walker. Grant Mustafi. Oh, Koscielny. Just Kyle seen the board there, Alan. Four minutes of added time. Well, that should give these players some encouragement because they've been playing pretty well and uh, they just need to take the chances now. They know the clock is against them. But the opposition is doing well against them as well. Another turnover in play here with that interception. Manchester City on the move in fine fashion. Kyle Walker. And the referee has now called a halt. It was absolutely 
extraordinary, exceptional, elegant, excellent. Well, he goes across and grabs the match ball from the ref, a hat-trick, and that's to be treasured by any player. Really bad weather today, really good game. Yeah, we forgot about the weather, only ten minutes in because it was so entertaining. Great stuff. He scored from the spot. Arsenal in exciting style. Opportunity here. On to the attack now. To take the lead. Good goal to take the lead here. Now he's looking for some support. He's got his shot off now. Well, he can do this, Kevin De Bruyne. He can really get at the opposition. There's still time.